Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum to all present. Uh, first of all, I'd like to begin with thanking the Allah Almighty for His benevolence. Uh, my parents, uh, my siblings, my suffering wife, my lovely children, my senior mentors, Mr. Masood Ali Nakwi, Mr. Hussain Basrai, Mr. Saqib Masood, Ami Jamila Basi, Iftikhar Anjum, and all of you in reposing your trust in me three times already. And uh, I'm here in front of you seeking your uh, support for the fourth time. Uh, what I'll try to do is that not to repeat what I have al already written in my write-up. Uh, uh, you have already listened to uh, what the vision for the council should be for the next term. Uh, I have, uh, added, I have uh, specified certain of those in my write-up also. But uh, what I'll do is to try to take you through nuts and bolts of how these things could be done. <coughs> uh, my presentation would primarily be to how to structure the, the ICAP to deliver on the expectation of uh, the worthy members. Uh, we have seen all sorts of visions and all sorts of uh, needs of the institute, uh, members' demands and everything, but without appropriate structure, nothing could be delivered. So what I'll try to do is to elaborate some of my visions for those, those structures and how we can move, move, complete the agenda that we have in front of us. <coughs> As lot of, uh, most of you would be aware that ICAP uh, has a number of departments as in, and uh, currently we have the four key departments, education and training, examination, quality assurance, and legal and membership affairs. And there are other departments like finance and internal audit, other, other support functions, but these are the key departments with which uh, the members and our profession is concerned. Uh, what I have done is that I have some color coded some of the, those things. Uh, the red ones in the blue boxes are the ones, are the areas where we need to work. And the red boxes are the areas where, th those areas which are currently absent from the organization. Uh, we need to get into those and to, to support the objectives and visions of the institute. As you can see that uh, what I, with my association, four-year association with the council, what I have seen that in, on education side, we do have policy and schemes. And we do have a lot of uh, guidance and everything. But what we lack is that we, need, we lack a proper structure. And we need a man, man, man support. We don't have appropriate size of the organization. We need more skilled people and more relevant people with relevant knowledge and skills to deliver on the objectives. Those are set for the education side. Same is with the training side. Appropriate policies are there. But what we need is that we need to bring in a monitoring mechanism to ensure that the quality of training is there on, in all firms to a sufficiently acceptable level. Uh, we continuously hear that the student complain that the training in all the firms are not similar. So what at ICAP we can do is that we can provide support to the smaller training organizations to come up to a sufficiently acceptable level of training so that the students can go there and learn and develop. Another area which we currently lack is for the members is that CPD and special certification. This is the area which has already been elaborated. We, this cannot be done without appropriate resources. We need to have dedicated resources to work with and come up with these certifications and these uh, high quality CBD programs. Examination. Examination is, is the bedrock of our and foundation of our value of our certificate. What we need to do is that, that we need to further strengthen that. And uh, what I think is that we can do is that we can do that by 
increasing the technology involvement in, the, in, the, in that aspect. Uh, we are working, currently working on a couple of projects and uh, that, that would enhance the technology involvement in the examination process and speed up the quality uh, and timelines of the examination process. But what we also need to do is to, is to introduce at assessment and post-assessment level also. At assessment level, as we are, we are, we are already aware that four subjects are, are on CBE, but we need to see further and uh, take it to a new level. Uh, again, the people part is where we currently does not have appropriate support. We need paper setters, we need assessors, and we need specialists. This is the area where the members can come in and support us and uh, do their part. Quality assurance is the area where we are all aware that the policy and processes are there, but again, the people part is there. We are currently working on it, and we, we want that to have an appropriate part, uh, as some of our members have already highlighted, that we want to broaden the scope of uh, review to um, all, all, all firms. So we need appropriate skills and resources there. And those skills need to be, those people need to be trained and uh, bring up to, to the mark to go and uh, do their job properly. Legal and membership. Legal and membership is one of the hardest working and most overburdened uh, department uh, in our institution. Uh, they are dealing with the membership of membership, they are dealing with licensing, they are dealing with investigation and whatnot. And not to mention about the various court cases that, we, that the institute is embroiled in. Uh, so what we need to do is that we need to have a dedicated team and dedicated resources to only cater to the in, in investigation. That's, that's, that's a big chunk of what we do. And one of the uh, second pillar uh, on bedrock on which the reputation of the institute is standing. And for outside world, we, they, they want to see that what we are doing where we, our members make errors or or there are something which is not uh, up to the mark. So these are the, the, where, there we need right kind of policies, processes, people, and the justice as, as a foundation, it needs to be done on a timely basis. And it's where, are currently we are way behind on this. And uh, it's uh, average time, if I, I may uh, venture to guess, is somewhere around three to four years to conclude one case. So this is something which we need to address quite quickly. And, but unfortunately, resources are not coming forward. Three new areas where we, where we should be uh, working are the member affairs. Uh, the institute has already instituted a members affairs committee, but it needs to be proper uh, organizational support need to be there. And for that, we need, uh, for, and, and because this uh, committee has been mandated with members engagement, uh, members relationship, dispute resolution, member support, and SME support. This is a very broad objective, and it, this can't be done uh, simply with the committee. There has to be appropriate a structure and resources within the organization to deal with this matter. Same is with business development. We are, we are harping about the need for going into the market and branding ourselves. So these are the two critical departments we need to have business development and brand management. Uh, global outreach, mutual recognition, resource generation, everything, these are the areas we are, where we need uh, right kind of people and right kind of tools and resources to go out in the market and deal with these issues. All this thing, all this objective cannot be done without the three fundamental uh, support uh, areas. That's the uh, right skills at secretariat level. And uh, we are continuously hearing from all members that we need to be council and the secretariat need to be independent. So that's the area which uh, we, there is a, a lack of appropriate right kind of resources. Infrastructure, IT enablement, digitization, this is the area where we need to work. We haven't done much around these things and in the coming three to four years, these would, should be our focus and benchmark. Nothing of these could be done and achieved without fiscal strength. A uh, lot of our members feel that ICAP has a lot of fiscal strength. It does not. If you see the financial, if you see the, see the balance sheet, we cannot sustain our operations uh, for more than six months if something unthinkable has to happen. Thank you very much. Take care.